What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we have another Android video. I'm going to be showing you how to upload files from your Android project up to Amazon S3 using AWS Amplify. As you can see, this is what our app is going to look like. We're going to start off with a button that's going to allow us to select a photo from our photo gallery. We select that photo, we upload that photo, we download that photo, and then it will be presented to us on the screen using Coil. So all that's coming up. Just hang in there and let's jump right in there. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an Amplify project locally. And we do that by using the Amplify CLI in the command line and typing in Amplify init. After you ran Amplify init, you should see something like this. It's going to give you a, an overview of what the configuration is going to be for your project. And I just simply went through hit enter for all that for all the prompts and gave it the default answer. Now that we've initialized the project successfully, we need to clear it and we need to add the storage category to our Amplify project. And we do that with Amplify Add Storage. From here, I'm gonna simply enter in all the default values by pressing Enter. Once you get to the point to where it asks you who should have access to these files, I'm gonna go ahead and select Auth and Guest Users because we're not gonna go through an Auth flow today. And I'll go ahead and select all the options for authenticated users by doing Control A. That'll check all of those. And the same thing for Guest Users, Control A and select all of those. Now that the storage category is all set up locally, I'm going to go ahead and clear our, ter our terminal, and then I'm going to push this configuration up to Amplify by running Amplify push-y. Everything that we've configured locally will now be pushed up to the backend and the resources will be generated for us. Now that our backend is completely set up, let's go ahead and close the command line and let's head over to our build.gradle file and add in the Amplify framework dependencies. So let's scroll down to the bottom in our dependencies and paste them in here. You'll see that I'm working with this version of Amplify and we're gonna be using both storage and auth since auth is required by storage. Now head over to main activity and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function called configure amplify. Let's go ahead and paste it in. And as we can see here, the configure amplify function is simply going to try to add both the auth and the storage plugins to amplify and then configure it. And then we should get something logged in the console, whether we actually initialize Amplify successfully or not. From here, we just need to make sure that we are calling the configure Amplify, and we'll do that in OnCreate. On Next, what we're going to do is we're going to start working on selecting a photo. So first, we're going to create a sealed class that's going to handle the different states that we could possibly be in when we're going through the app's flow. So let's create a sealed class called image state. Image state will have an initial state an image selected state, an image uploaded state, and an image downloaded state. And image selected and image downloaded will also take in values so that we can actually use those in order to uh, move the progress forward when we have the URI and when we have the download image file as well. We'll immediately start taking advantage of the image state object by creating a property in our main activity called image state. And it's gonna start off with the initial state. We're also going to need an activity launcher. So let's go ahead and add one in called get image launcher. And that's going to register the activity result for getting content. The register for activity result is going to have a callback and it's going to pass in a URI. That URI is going to be nullable. And uh, if we do have a URI, we can now update the image state's value with image selected and simply pass in the URI. Now let's start focusing on the UI and we can update our set content uh, block right here in the onCreate with a column. The column will be responsible for centering all of our content. And then we're also going to use this when statement and we're going to access the value of our image state and call that state. Then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to check the different uh, use cases in this when statement. And right now we're only working with the initial. So we'll start off by showing a button which is going to trigger the get image launcher. It's going to launch asking for images only. And then we will also have a text that says open gallery. Now we can start working on uploading a photo. We're going to head back up to the top. We'll create a companion object since we're going to be using a constant value for the photo key. Uh, since we're only going to just test out uploading and downloading a file, we want to use the same key and we'll have it right here. Now what we can do is we can create an upload photo function uh, and we'll do that just below the configure amplify function down here. 
The upload photo function is going to take in an image URI. We'll create a stream from that URI, and then we can pass that stream into the amplify storage upload input stream method. It, it only requires that we have a photo key, which we just created in our companion object at the top, and a stream. We then get two callbacks. We get the success callback, which we're going to we're going to update the image state once again to image uploaded, or we have the error callback at, at which point we can either display some type of error message to the user or whatever. Since we have the upload photo function ready and in place, let's go back over to our UI and now we can add in the new case, which is going to be uh, when image selected is our value. And this is once again, just going to be another button and it's going to call the upload photo and we're gonna pass in the image URI, which is going to be provided by our state right here. And this is simply going to just show a button. So now that we have the upload part added to our app, let's go ahead and include the download part. So let's go below our upload photo function and we'll add in another function right here, the download photo function. And this is going to simply create a local file. We'll access the files directory from our application context. And then you can just give it any value or name that you want for what this file is going to be called and make sure that you include that, that extension like .jpg. And then what we can do is we can do amplify storage download file. We once again want to uh, pass in the photo key that we want for the specific image that we're looking to get. And that's going to be this my photo up here at the top. So this is the key that we're looking for. And then we're going to specify the output or the right destination, which is our local file that we just created right here. Once again, we get two callbacks, a success callback, which is going to update our image state once again. This will be the image downloaded and we'll pass in the, the output destination, which is our local file, or we'll get an error and we'll print that error. With download photo function in place, we're gonna go back up to our UI once again, and now we can have a button that represents the, the, the next step in our process. So once we have the image uploaded, we have the download photo function button, and that will kick off our, our method. The last part of this tutorial is going to show how to actually render the image to the screen. We're going to be using the coil dependency. So what we need to do is head back over to the build.gradle file and just below our amplified dependencies, let's go ahead and add in our coil dependency. I'm using 1.4.0. Now that coil is a dependency for our project, we can head back over to our main activity and we'll take advantage of coil and we will uh, make sure that we're able to show an image once we hit the image downloaded state. So Coil makes it really easy to render different types of images. And all we need to do is pass it the state dot downloaded image file, which once again, that's how we have our sealed class of image state set up. It's going to take in that image file and we are done. Let's go ahead and run the app and see if it works. All right, and here we go. We have our open gallery button presented to us. We open the gallery, we select an image, we have upload photo button presented to us. We hit upload, it finishes uploading, then we update the state. Now we hit download photo. And as you can see, we're able to download the photo and present it to the user. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful on how to upload files from your Android app to Amazon S3 using AWS Amplify. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, along with any suggestions for videos or topics that you want covered. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for your time. Go out there and keep coding passionately.